This is one of my homemade horns. It's called the vestigial organ. Basic principle. It just takes air pressure and gets it into a sound. And uh, this is just a piece of plumbing here. And each one is tunable with a slider. This is Emo. He's a robot that likes to play fetch. He's mostly made of uh, aluminum panels and wooden rods. You get all that stuff at a hobby shop. Um, the electronics are all off-the-shelf components you can get online. Um, he has five motors, one for each arm, one for each wheel, and one to move his head up and down. His nose is actually a camera. Uh, behind his face, there's a small microcontroller that handles color tracking. And this is his favorite toy. Uh, he'll follow this around as it's rolling. And he'll try and get close enough to it to where he can grab it. Once he's got it, he'll try and come home to me. I guide him home with uh, another pink target. And as soon as he's close enough, I can hide the target and that's his signal to let go of the ball. So the project I want to tell you about is I've called the Truth. And basically, it's a wristband that's measuring my emotional responsiveness. So if it's all blue, it indicates that I'm calm, cool, and collected. But if somebody asks me a particularly arousing question, or if somebody were to smack me in the face, the wristband lights up all red um, indicating that I'm aroused or angry about that particular experience. And basically it works by measuring my skin conductance. So the finger strap feeds that signal back into the wristband. And underneath the hood we have just a little bit of circuitry here. It's pretty simple actually. Um, an op amp that buffers and filters and turns that resistance into a voltage that can be measured by a microcontroller. And then the microcontroller is simply lighting up these different LEDs, different colors, based on the changes in my skin conductance. I think we could all use a little more truth in our society, and um, I'm, I'm sure there are a number of people who, who just can't handle the truth, but maybe makers can lead the way on this. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad, 